That's Dorota Palitska, international new artist and educator here, and I'm in with Fiona. We are going to do the ribbon, so that's her old set, and that's her new set. And uh, I have left three nails, so I can show you how to rebalance them. I have left one this, so I'm not bored when I'm working on this, uh, when this hand is curing. Uh, so basically, we're starting with the client sanitization of the hands, which we have already done, and then we're removing the old set. So that's the old set. I mean, not removing, rebalancing it. Uh, I'm just going to quickly clip off the gems to start with. So just clipping them off. They were really nice. There is also a tutorial on those nails, um, uh, the zebra print nails. And they lasted. Well, Fiona broke some nail, but there is a tutorial how to do a sculpted set. Uh, so I have recorded that as well. Oh, I have clipped the gel. They attach so strong. Ah, oh, there we are. So I'm going to use the E file, which is K38, and remove the old product. Fiona is the hairdresser, so they're a bit stained, <laughs> as you can see it, guys. But it's a top coat. So I'm just filing away the old color and any liftings which might be on the nails. So I've got a tiny bit loose place here, which I'm filing. You have to always make sure you get rid of any loose places. Uh, first of all, uh, you don't want the water to get trapped on those loose places and then secondly um, This set is not going to last as well. So always remove them And when removing the product like I'm trying to work kind of smooth-ish so I don't have too much um, of misshaped nails. This way is much quicker to rebalance it. Now I need to smooth out the place which I have peeled the gel from with the clippers. I always keep catching the snail with the file. <laughs> okay, so let's go back. The reason why I jump it to another nail is if we file too long in one nail, we produce a little bit of heat and I don't want my clients to feel it. So if it happens that I've got more work uh, on any of the nails, I will jump to another one to give a rest to this nail. Okay, so this way I have filed old color. I'm just quickly going to clean the dust away. And then we are going to reshape them a little bit, sort out the cuticles and apply the fresh gel and move the apex. Okay, so I'm pushing back the cuticles. Then using the cuticle bead, we are going to tidy them up. So remove any dead cuticles which are on the nail plate. Put the e-file into the reverse and do the other side. Now let's shorten them a little bit, so I'm just filing the free edge a little bit. 
one side, other side. Blend the old product in and scratch the surface of the natural new. Same on this one, so one side, other side, shorten it. Blend it with the natural new. When doing the rebalance, um, it's also good to remove excess of the product from the free edge because when we're shortening the needles, the needles become thicker due to the structure. So I'm always um, thinning out the free edge like this, making sure I don't have too big bulk of the product in there. And then the next one. So shorten it, blend it, thin out the free edge. Usually I find it that doing the rebalance up to three times makes the new still manageable what I mean by it like I can still kind of shape it nice after they pass third uh, rebalance it's more difficult because the natural nails are more carved and for coffin shape it is really showing uh, I feel like the shape isn't as sharp uh, and um, it just doesn't look as nice I think that's our third yeah, it is a third time, so next time probably we will just cut them off and start fresh. So I'm removing the dust using a glue scrub to dehydrate the nail plate. Now the cuticles, we can trim them at this stage. I usually prefer to do it after I have done the filing, uh, but I'm just on those two. I'm going to remove it a little because there is quite a lot. That was actually quite a lot. <laughs> And then the other one as well. Okay, and the other one. <laughs> Quite a lot on this one as well. Yay! This is sometimes so satisfying, guys! <laughs> Okay, so we have done this uh, part, so clean the dust and then rebalance them. Please share my videos and the channel links as well. Like we're trying to get a little bit more motivations, especially that's actually I was so depressed yesterday. We have booked the flights to Poland because I was hoping Poland is going to be put onto the green list, but obviously they didn't. So I have lost, I had to rebook the flights. <laughs> I was so needing a break. Now, that was an extra nail prep to dehydrate the nails. Now, Universal Air Bond, which gives a really good adhesion um, of the gel to the natural nails. I'm always waiting for both products to dry and then we are going to apply the gel. And the gel which we are going to use for this time, it will be a light rose. Yeah, but I was so needing like a wee, wee break to recharge the battery and I think be more productive as well. So I'm applying a small scoop of the product on the one side, other side, then the next nail, one side, other side. And if the nails are all intact, I can quickly go and do the apex movement as well like move the apex so on this one like this one needs more work so i'm going to cook it first but this one is almost perfect so i'm just putting a small scoop in the apex area without of pressing hard on this place and then press harder to remove any excess of the product so this way i'm also shaping the needle okay same quickly on this one so apex i'm not pressing strong very gentle and then once I've got it there, I'm pressing really hard to remove the excess of the product and smooth out the nail. Cook it in. 
So I'm going to quickly uh, cure this one and in the meantime we are going to start uh, working on this meal as well. So just clean it. And then we will use some white color which is uh, Tic Tac White and that's 173 color. So apply it in, change your hands, and then I can build up the apex on on this nail. Okay, and to build up the apex, I'm applying another scoop of the product, nice and thin layer, just so the gel slides nicely uh, in there, and then pick up a scoop of the product. And here we was missing quite a lot. Mm, that's why I wanted to put it those thinner layer first. So fill it up, press it harder, and that's the snail. Oh, maybe a tiny bit more in here. And that's the snail filled. Change. We can also apply the second layer of the color in here. I cannot change, so slide this hand on top of your other hand and I've got time to quickly uh, wipe the table and tidy up a little bit when the other hand is cooking. So the table is wiped and I'm going to use some foil design gel. It's a black gel uh, for painting um, the top part, so let's give me maybe the top hand. So I can get rid of this design and then shape the other hand. And we are going to go for, <clears throat> gosh, I'm talking too much, for some wee triangle here. So on different nail, I will do slightly different things. Okay, now Fiona, you need to hold your breath. <laughs> Check if it's in the middle. Okay, and then use the D-liner brush, which is much more precise. So catch the breath, and then hold it on. I'm doing the same, especially when painting like a black on white. Um, and if we wanted to have it at nice. Okay, and I'm 100% happy with it now, so change your hands. Uh, remove the inhibition layer from the snails and I can start shaping them. So, V shape. Nice and straight at the free edge. There is not much shaping because we have already shaped the nails um, when we was removing the old product. And uh, when applying the gel, I was trying to shape the nails as well. So it's really to smooth it out. Okay, this nail is almost ready. And then next one, so one side, other side, free edge, blend around the cuticle area, that's it. And 
green blend and I'm using um, um, for shaping guys I'm using a uh, hundred uh, and 180 grit so depending like but most of the time I'm using a hundred grit uh, which is really effective when it comes to the filing like a so so quick obviously it is sharp so you have to watch it to don't cut the client okay blend that out and now we are going to buff it the buff it is 100 by 180 as well and it creates lots of scratches so the product is going to stick in to the nails it's not a buffer which buffs to the high shine it's a buffer which does scratches and then this one Sometimes when I buff and if it's needed, I'm going to swap into the new file again. Uh, like I feel this one is a little bit bulky, so I'm just reshaping it. I don't want that bulk. then remove the dust and clean those nails so I'm using the blue scrub just to get rid of the dust and that's them ready to paint so just wait a couple seconds for it to, um, to dry and the white So this finger is going to be full white. Then this finger is going to be half white. And so does this finger is going to be half white. I'm not too bothered about the line, like it can be messy inside. Uh, now here we are going to apply some crystals and to do a uh, marble. So quickly apply the crystals on. For crystals application, we are going to use the base gel. And a couple of the clear, clear, clear crystals. It's actually bad because I've got them all mixed. <laughs> And then three more. I'm actually spending time on searching them, which is totally, I, I have no clue how it's happened, like honestly, <laughs> why they mixed. Okay, so put them into the right spots, then change it. Here quickly a second layer of the white. Again, I'm not too bothered about the application around the cuticle area because we are going to use black in there. And same, I'm not bothered too much about perfecting the line because we are going to do it with the black. So it will be a waste of time and we want to be time effective as well ok 
Perfect, change. Now it's a time for marble. So for marble, I'm going to use the um, foil design gel, just a foil design gel. So if you're not, we need yeah. you in focus, perfect. <laughs> and um, so I've used the back of the foils, uh, which is awesome. And then we've got blue scrap as well, which I will use to kind of uh, soften the black. So I've got a tiny bit black on my brush. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just doing a couple of the squiggles. And then using uh, the blue scrap, I'm going to smudge them. So I'm just cleaning my brush and then have a blue scrap over it to smudge it. Kind of, so it's nice and gentle marble. Okay. Add up a tiny bit more in some places. Not too much, like wait till you're happy and then, well, maybe one more line here and then cook it. <clears throat> so here I'm going to quickly paint black as well. <laughs> now I'm bothered about the cuticle area, so nice and slow. Then the other side. Okay, now don't breathe, uh, don't breathe. So I'm just painted the other half of the needle and same in here. Again, don't move for a second. And now touch up this triangle here. So again, don't move. <laughs> Perfect change. <laughs> okay, so this one is actually ready for a top coat. So I'm just going to apply the top coat on this hand. And then I can show you the full set, full set of them. Now, do not apply the top coat over the crystals as they lose their shine. And we really don't want that. So just nicely in. Perfect change. And then quickly do the marble on this one. So again, I'm going to use a black, couple squiggles. And then clean the brush and smudge them. Basically, the more messy you are, the nice and the more messy and the more quicker you are, the nicest results you get. Like I have tried this design, doing it like slow and painting nice, and I find it honestly the more shaky hand and like the quicker you are, the nicer it is. And then if it's needed. Just add a couple more lines. That 
that's actually quite nice cook it yeah so this hand is finished i'm going to clean it and at the end i used some baby wipes to clean um uh, the dust like i don't want to send the clients like this you could also wash the hands as well yeah. we usually do it as well <laughs> it's a nicer thumbnail picture guys um uh, but that's the set like how it looks uh, when it's uh, finished so i'm going to quickly stuck the gems into the other one as well and then show you both of the hands perfect i take this hand so the base gel again and some brush gems here gems there and gems there fiddly part especially that they are all, all mixed as I say but sometimes I've got the days like when I really um, especially in the winter months uh, like I mean obviously summertime is so crazy but I like to sit and uh, I like to sort out all my glitters I like to sort out all my gems and everything just so they are all in the right order and like um, i really enjoy it like it's a time to me just to chill out and relax while doing it uh, sorting out all the bits and pieces and it also reminds you like of the stuff which you had it in your drawers which was hidden i was like thinking like oh my gosh i have to do a nice set uh, with this and this products because you just discover again that you had them for ages So first of all, I'm applying the crystals, just whatever, like kind of, um, so they there. And then once I've got the line done, I'm just perfecting it. So get them into the right spots. Okay, and then here. So just the same, Fiona loves the crystals, <laughs> the more the better. Eh? Yeah. Okay, so another one. quickly put them in and yeah hit those share button guys for me pretty pretty please so the other can see it as well or you could just recommend it to one of your best friend to join our community and watch uh, the videos they can learn lots of useful tricks hints and tips on how to do the nails like plus the different uh, designs which are coming up every monday wednesdays and saturdays if i've got the time uh, i'm trying to record a little bit more videos just to keep you guys more occupied and share even more knowledge okay i'm almost there just perfecting the line so it's nice and straight let me check that the other ones didn't move this one did and this one is intact, cook it in. So the base gel, I usually freeze it just a couple seconds, like really even 10 seconds will do. And then we can uh, apply the top coat, but look at the set one more time. Just subtle marble. And I really like uh, Fiona's previous set as well. You have to check them out. That was a zebra, uh, zebra print. Uh, we did it uh, really nice and beautiful black and white set too. So if you're fan of those kind of, um, universal uh, nails which you can wear for any occasions you have to check the previous video as well 
Actually, I wonder what we do next. <laughs> I'm going to save you time and don't waste your time on waiting how this looks when it's cured. So I'll just show you quickly both hands. Uh, that's how they feel. Oh, they're so pretty, two hands together. Yeah, really nice. Uh, yeah, I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now, guys. Okay.